Peace, peace, family. What's good? It's your brother, God Science, up in here once again, up in the ride. You know, doing that every day, hobbies, paying bills. Yeah. I just got a video yesterday on uh, Young Pharaoh, right? Uh, and, uh, I watched the video and I just want to say congratulations to Young Pharaoh for winning that bag. Um. Nobody knew. I didn't know that he was doing that, but I watched Young Pharaoh from the beginning when he started in Sign Out of TV. And you know that went sour, right? And I was hearing everybody who was watching the conscious community just watching him and anybody else. You were hearing that people calling the cops on him, uh, calling his parole officer and all kinds of shit. And, and, and I gotta admit, I can't st stand here in front. I gotta be real with myself. You know, I I was, you know, I follow Young Pharaoh. Why wouldn't you wanna support a brother that's doing something positive instead of out there doing some negative shit? But of course, yes, he, he was a little bit uh, arrogant and um, a little bit disrespectful, <laughs> but that's who he is. But at the same time, that doesn't call for trying to throw a man in jail. And I never agree with that shit. You know, we talk about now somebody's trying to murder you or, or you know, you you know, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's trying to hurt your family, things like that. I, right, you are not a gangster. You don't live by that code. You call the damn cops. I know I'm calling the fucking cops because I never claim to live no fucking gangster like. But trying to lock this dude up and calling his parole officer, I've unfortunately have to say that I did time before. And that shit is nothing nice. I won't wish it on nobody. Human beings ain't supposed to be. That's just a whole different video. But the point is, to be making up lies on this man and trying to throw him in fucking jail over just disagreements and going back and forth in the streets of YouTube, that's fucked up. So if he didn't win that money, good for him. Um, you know, some people are going to disagree with me, even though I disagree with him. I've made videos disagreeing on him, but right is right. I would not, regardless of how much I disagree with that dude, I'm going to call this fucking parole officer and try to get the man locked up. And then we turn around and talk about it's too much black people locked up. We're too locked up in, and, and, you know, we need to unite. You know, everybody has their ways. Nobody's perfect. But we have to look, we have to be bigger. You know what I mean? bigger people and doing all that that's corny. I didn't agree when Israel Doctrine even though Hassan Campbell is uh, a character in himself you know what I mean um, calling the FBI on him and shit it's like come on dude for what y'all don't watch watch Perry Mason and all these fucking shows you gotta have more proof just for like somebody saying that him saying it you know you're going all off of him that's one two that's just some real fucking obsession shit. I, I even though I even though I disagree with someone and I can't I can't stand them sometimes. I'm not gonna make videos back to back on this motherfucker. I got a life. Who does that shit? That's a whole different story. Anyway, the point is this: congratulate him for his bag. Now the quick question is: Is Polite's gonna pay it? Now, brother Polite, I'm not gonna front when he came out. He captivated me. Dude was brilliant. A black brother speaking like this, drop, you know, just going into the debate field. Regardless of how much scamming he does, he's a great debater. I've seen him crush a lot of people. But we all know from watching those, you know, I've been watching, I'm not one of these persons that just started watching the conscious community. I've been doing it for years. And I saw changes and I saw rumors coming around and allegedly, you know, all the scamming and shit. And it just made everything sour because it's like, if you don't trust these dudes are supposed to be standing for us for a certain cause. And if we can't trust y'all motherfuckers, who the fuck we gonna trust? That's why you can't really trust anybody in the conscious community anymore, you know? And, you know, I rocks with Sonetta. No, salute to Sonetta. I rocks with that brother, but I always wish he never hung around these niggas because I knew what is going, what's going to happen. Was Hassan's Campbell number one defense? You were hanging out with a scammer, 
so you knew. So it's like, damn, I wish you never did that. And the thing about people calling Young Pharaoh a scammer, I don't know this brother personally, but I do know I don't hear anybody else talking about that shit. I don't hear anybody out here complaining that Pharaoh took their money. The, the, the daycare center, all that shit. I haven't heard one person talk about they need their money back from that daycare. And if you if I'm wrong, please show me the link. So I won't consider him, you know, until I can see that with my own two fucking eyes, then he's a scammer, right? But he's doing everything what everybody else doing. This shit is a hustle, it's a game. Not to say that you won't learn something here and there from these brothers, but they doing the same thing to be the biggest YouTuber and get paid and, and, and have their channel and rock jewelry and rock. All of us want that. So, you know, I'm not on that hating shit. I don't hate these brothers because of that. I make a video, I disagree. I just want to make a point. Um, you know, who won't want to be that? But at the same time, it's not everything. You can get money elsewhere. I don't have a big channel. I don't have a lot of following. It's probably like five, six people gonna watch this video. And niggas always gotta remind me that, but I don't care. So what you gonna do? What you think, I'm gonna stay broke and not do anything because I can't make it on YouTube? Nigga, you go make money somewhere else. There's lots of ways to make money. Of course, everybody will wanna do it on YouTube, but if you can't, you get in where you fit in. So I don't understand this shit where niggas is like, Oh, you got a small channel. Like, that's supposed to hurt you in some way. And you go home and your whole day is down because this somebody wrote a comment saying, Oh, you have a small channel. I do have a small channel. And I'm grateful for anybody who watches the video. Because what niggas forget is that even if you got 29, 30, or 100 people, that's 100 people. That's a lot of people that's sitting there taking their time out of day day to listen to what the fuck you got to say. I think that's humbling, regardless if it's two people or if it's just one. You know what I mean? If it's nobody, then I'll be like, okay, then damn. But, you know, if at least it's just one or two, you know, three people, I'm grateful for that. And it's a way to vent and just, you know, speak your mind. And yes, I know, I know y'all sick and tired of seeing some nigga in a damn car giving his damn opinion, yes. I'm sick and tired of it too. If I see one more nigga in the car doing it, yes. I get it, but at the same time, I'm doing that shit. But I've been doing it for a while. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, what y'all think about that? Do you think people that's allegedly scanned by Polite should go after their money? Um, like I said, um, I don't agree with Young Pharaoh and everything, but if you try to lock this man out and call this parole officer and all that shit is crossing the line to me, man. I'm just from the old so cross, you crossing the line. So you deserve what you get. And pinching that back, very smart way. You know, you you got these nigger niggas would be like, oh you, oh, you a punk, you should you should go and knock his head off. But he's right. What do go to jail after that? No, do it the American way. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.